but let's get to the point why we're here because I know y'all looking like, who the fuck is Miss Mikey and why can't he breathe? But shout out to Nova Nymph for giving Mike a mic in the stage to tell y'all the first stage, the first stage of AIDS. <laughs> you see, one Sunday in church, I accidentally sneezed and this crazy ass man walked right up to me. He said, excuse me, sir, you got to leave. And I said, why? Because I simply sneezed? Why the fuck can't you just say, God bless you to me? He said, I can't say that because God hates fags. They all go to hell. Well, God did make Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, but also remember he created little old me who just so happened to contact HIV. But I didn't see HIV, so how in the fuck did it get me once again? I mean, I was always high but never jet lagged, and I always kept a condom in at least one of my bags. So did I get this because I'm a fag? You know, this is AIDS. The gay man's disease, but child, you'd be surprised to know that I got this from a married man with a wife and house keys. Ooh, kill him. Kill him. <laughs> His wife, man, she was a beautiful woman, but always kind of shy, and that's only because she wants you to clock her black eye, which is why she's in MAC Cosmetics to hide the choke grips, busted lips, plus the MK watch to cover them wristlets. Her dumbass got the ring when she was only supposed to be a fling, and to her, this was a normal thing. I mean, she grew up watching her mama get dragged by her daddy ass, so one day that bitch finally stabbed and stabbed his ass in the back with a broken glass. How the fuck can you love a man who only talks with his hands? Is this all a part of God's plan? How the fuck could she love a gun man? I mean, his mama told him he wasn't shit just like his daddy, and sadly she said it so much so one day that shit finally came true. That little dude was so quick he knew what to do when he saw the red, white, and blue stash box full of keys, tuck the ski, pull up his sack of true religion jeans, but one day shit got so deep he asked the faggot to toss the gun that his hand squeezed. And I wonder if that's the same gun that killed all my classmates. Andrew, Alexis, Pierre, D. Hill, Izzy, Keon, Emily. R.I.P. The ultimate death is silence, so come on, let's talk about it. I just touched base on HIV gun and domestic violence. Let's shake the table without causing one of them Ferguson or Baltimore riots. And what if that was me that got choked up and said, I can't breathe. Would you wear a shirt in remembrance of me, you know, the gay-ass white guy that just so happened to have HIV? I'm just a human, right? It's not about who's black and who's white, because we're all human, right? It's about what's wrong and what's right. Punishing the wrong and rewarding the right. Now, how the fuck that ain't honoring the human's rights? But back to this dude that ended my life and had a wife, so he thought, to one day that weak-ass bitch finally stood up and caught thought, you know this bitch called me? She said, hello? I said, yeah, girl. She said, is this Miss Mikey? I said, yeah, that's me. She said, well, bitch, I heard you had HIV. And I said, ho, you too, but you ain't get it from me. And she said, you know what? I thought about it and I prayed about it, so let's talk about it. I can take you to a doctor that treats me and I couldn't fucking believe she wanted to save me when I didn't save myself, because trust me, if I did, I would have protected myself, but I'm here to save you like she did me. Guess what, y'all? I beat AIDS, and so did she. And now we just waiting on a cure for HIV. And today it starts with you and me. My name is Miss Mike, and I hope you know your status and not just mine. Woo!